Welcome back. We are going to start taking a look at tags and how you can use those in your in your Obsidian Vault. There are a lot of different plugins and things that you can use with tags to extend the basic functionality of tags, but as we typically do, we're going to start here with the basics of tags. So I have a almost brand new vault. Um, I'm running the Anna Pachin theme in this vault. I've customized it with some style settings and I've added the iconic uh, plugin. You can find out more about this in the customizing the appearance of Obsidian um, lessons that I've shared before. Today though we're going to take a look again at tags. So I have um, both the left and the right panel showing and um, remember you can always hide those using the buttons right up here at the top. So this will hide the left panel, this will hide the right panel. I can also expand or contract those using the hotkeys of the left and right arrow buttons if I program those, which I haven't done in this vault. So let's look at how to do that. I'm going to open the settings. I'm going to open the settings by, I used the command comma because I'm on a Mac. You could also do that with by opening up the uh, command palette with command or control P and searching for settings. You could also do it by clicking the little gear icon down here at the bottom. Lots of ways to do everything in Obsidian. So um, we're going to take a look here at the um, hotkeys and we're going to look for side. There we go. There's toggle left sidebar, toggle right sidebar. I like to use, I'm going to hit the plus sign for the left, I like to use command left, and for the right, I like to use command right. You could make those whatever you want them, and now I can control those with my keyboard, so much nicer. All right, so again, everything in Obsidian can be customized, which is great. So I have a brand new note here using the daily note template. Again, to fire that off, I just did command P to open up the command palette. Um, if you don't want to use command P, you also have the option of opening it using the button over here. Um, so a couple of different ways to do that. Um, and I opened today's daily note. So that's how I got a new daily note. You don't have to create this. It will get created for you. Um, and that daily note is stored for me in my Kronos 2025 folder. I set those settings in the daily note core plugin settings. So everything's going to this Kronos 2025. I don't have a template set up for this. I don't need it for this demo. All right, so let's just say I'm using daily notes in this vault as a very, very basic um, just daily logging. So let's log a couple of things here on the this note. So I, I put an extra space in there for some reason. Um, I updated my accounts in YNAB. So what I did there is I typed a hashtag no space in YNAB and it turned it into a tag. And, and I'm going to bring the tag explorer up here. I'll show you that in a second. And um, and paid mortgage. And then I had a meeting regarding the website design. Whoops, I did not mean to put a space in there. And worked through the issue we were having with the bigger images not showing on mobile. And I had a meeting with John. Let's do it this way. I've added in some text to this note so that you can see how the tag viewer works in YNAB by default. So you'll notice here that I've got um, some tags showing in here now. I've got the meeting tag and it shows that there are two occurrences of it because there it happens two times in this note. And then I have these um, nested tags. So if you use a forward slash in a tag, it creates a nested division of tags. Um, so I've got one for this person named John Dixon and another for this project web design. 
And then I have a tag for just an app called YNAB. I could also do this as a nested tab if I wanted to. So if I wanted to go in and change that, I'll talk about what just happened there on the left side in a second. Um, let's say I want to edit this and I want to make it app slash YNAB. As soon as I click off of it, it actually uh, updated those for me so that that is in there as a nested tag. Um, what happened when I clicked on this um, YNAB, you'll notice now it's not found because that tag no longer exists in my vault. Um, when I click on app YNAB in any note, a search opens on the left hand side for that particular tag, whatever it was. So um, let me set up a couple more notes and I will show you how that works in uh, totality. So I've got some new notes in and you can see that my tags have uh, further expanded over here on the left. Not a lot of new tags, although I have added this tag for Jenna, um, who is a fictional child in, or fictional child in this um, in this vault. And I want to show you some of the things that you can do again, just with vanilla obsidian without many plugins or things in it. So I've created a, um, a page for this Acme project proposal and I've put in a, this tag that goes along with this project for Acme contract. This is something that I actually do a lot in my vault. Um, I have a project tag that then has the name of the project nested under it. And so if I click on this tag, again, it's going to open up those search results and show me um, all of the pages that have that tag in them. I can always link to those results if I want to, or I can bookmark this search if I want to run it again. So there are lots of options for using tags as a search tool. When I am looking at the, the search results, I also have the ability to copy them. Um, and so that's how I copied these um, and I pasted them here and that gave me a link to all of the places where this Acme project, so the Acme contract is mentioned. So I can quickly go back through those if I want to. Um, in addition to having um, the search run from here, you can also run the search from over here. So if I look for the website design, that will run the search from my, my tag window so that I can see that. And then I can use that to click on any note that I want to read as well, which is kind of nice. Um, let's take a look at Jenna and see how we could use these for a person. One of the nice things is I can quickly scan through these notes and just read them. So um, if you want to make this bigger so that you can read it more easily, you can do that. Think about how you could use this for maybe a sentence a day kind of journal um, so that you could just see all of those right there in a list. You don't even have to add them into a note. They're always there if you want them. And as long as you're just using a lot of text files in your vault, the vault runs pretty fast. So it's a nice, easy way of doing that. You could even build in a little template into your um, daily notes page so that it already had that tag in there to remind you to put that in if you wanted to. Um, you also can, let's go ahead and close that and go back here. You also can um, sort your tags in a couple of different ways over here in the sort order. Um, I can tag them A to Z, I can tag them Z to A, and remember they are by the nested type. This is one of the reasons I like using the nested tags. It keeps them in those category orders. Um, you can also list them by um, frequency, how often they occur, 
um, as well as low to high. This can be really useful as your vault gets bigger. If there are tags that you're no longer using, you might want to go through and consider deleting them. Tags are cheap. I don't do that. Um, but you do have that option if you want to. I'll put it back to A to B, which is my preferred. Um, if you don't want to see the nested tags, you can turn them off and that lists everything as its own tag um, rather than seeing them nested. So you do have that option. Um, and you also have the option to collapse and expand. So this acts like a toggle, um, this third button to collapse and expand. And then finally, you can just search within your tags. So maybe while we have them closed here, or like in my vault, I have a lot of tags. You might want to know, do I have a tag for Jenna? And it'll show you, hey, that's under person. And if you expand that out, you'll find the Jenna tag there, which you can see. So tags by default in Obsidian have a lot of real uses. In the next lessons in the course, we're going to take a look at some of the ways that you can expand those uses using some of the community plugins.